Bye week round, how are you anybody? My fellow Transformer fans, Monkey here for another review. First of all, a bit of housekeeping. I'd like to thank a few people today for subscribing to me. And they are Jerry Home, thank you very much. DK Tardis, thank you. This person's name, unfortunately, is unpronounceable. But the name's at the bottom, and thank you very much. Sir Alan 500, thank you. Alex Lemons, thank you. Michael Smith, thank you, sir. And finally, James Ginty, thank you. All at the bottom, thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. Um, sir Alan and Sir Alan Five Hundred and DK Tardis have their own do their own videos. They review their own Transformers. At the bottom, there's a link. You'll like it, I think. So this is a, a review. On a couple of things, three things. Uh, we're doing Trailbreaker. So, this is the 30th anniversary um, IDW Trail Cutter, but from now on, I'm calling it Trailbreaker and Hoist. Uh, it's also doing the, um, the X2 Strengthening Equipment XT003. Uh, Upgrade kit basically, um, and also I'm doing a review on the repro labels for those kits. So, crack on. Oh, before that, um, I'm also going to do. Um, I'm also going to do uh, a little reply to uh, the phone A35 we made Rob, and his question was, "Why do you love or why do you hate G1?" Um, and so, basically, I, I love G1, and the reason for it was, it wasn't the toys, because I never got them when I was a kid. Um, it was all about the imagination of what they could be like. It sounds really sad, um, but like I say, I didn't have many toys when I was a kid. So, it, my mum and dad would get catalogues at Christmas, so I'd like Go grab the Christmas catalog, the the, uh, the the winter catalog, you know, little bit or something, and I'd open it up, and get down to the toys, and have a look at what's coming out this year for Transformers, and look at him and see the pictures and imagine them how they transform and stuff. About as near as I got to it, really. I had a few GoBots, um, but that was about it, really. It was only when I got a bit older and I got my own paper out and that's that. Kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so it wasn't the toys. Okay. It was the the comics. I collected the comics when I was a kid, and I um, watched the cartoons. The thing about the cartoons was you didn't see an episode each time. You saw part of an episode. It was on a show called Wackaday with Timmy Mallet, and he used to have like this five minute segment where he'd show part of a cartoon. So it would take Monday to Friday to watch the whole cartoon. So we didn't see a lot of them over here. We saw season one and that was pretty much it. Um, so, again, it was... And, and out of that, what stands out in season one, above them all, to be honest, is the pilot. Um, back then it was called Arrival from Cybertron, because I could get it from a uh, DVD uh, video shop. Um, and it was all one. It wasn't three parts. It was all just one episode. It's really cool. And I wish they'd do that again, to be honest. It would be awesome. Anyway. So uh that that was that was me that was me Transformers during the eighties. So I, I loved it for that. And the first time I ever saw the cartoon, and it was the first time I had anything to do with Transformers, was the scene with Spark Plug, um Spike and Trailbreaker and they were they're they're having a picnic <laughs> and listening in. On um, Megatron's plans, and then the next uh, after Megatron has a little argument, which starts with tells him the plans and stuff. And then the uh, next scene, you see them driving back to the Autobot base, and then the Seekers come in and start attacking. And it's like, uh, and and it's those Seekers that I don't think they were, I don't think they were Skywalker Thundercracker. I think they were just two of those, you know, nameless purple ones that you only saw sometimes. You know, in the background or whatever, because they needed more numbers. 
it was, one of, it was them. But it was really cool, the whole lines of it all, you know. We were calling it out to, on the radio, asking for help. And, uh, you know, Spike says, can you go any faster, jailbreak? He says, sorry, this is it. I'm not built to speed. We need a, we need to, we need some help then. So they call it. And there's more shooting. And Trailbreak is like, his rear ends sliding about. I love that bit. And then he says, I may not be fast, but I'm tough. Kind of thing. And then the next thing, you know, he says, it's, it's Sunstreak and Southside, Sideswipe. They're coming in from, in front of him. You see, to see dust at the time. He's just soon passed. And then they swing round and come up and flank Trailbreaker. And then he just deploy guns from the rear of the, the, kind of the, the back of him and just take out the wing, wing one of the jets. And then they go off for repairs or whatever. Just best scene ever. I love that scene. It was just awesome. That was the best scene. That was the first scene I ever saw. It was the first thing I ever saw. Transformers. Mum used to call it the, the Megatron show. So, yeah, that that was that's why I love G1. There's those little things. Uh, season uh, The episode, uh, the pilot, was a lot like, and I've said this before, it's, it's a lot like the, the Autobots were kind of like your dad and his mates at a barbecue or a party or something, and they'd be in the corner having a laugh, taking the piss out of each other or whatever. And it was kind of that thing when, that, that scene when they got Ironhide back into the... Um, it back in uh, in the back of Ratchet, which sounds really bad, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? And Jazz says maybe Ironhide's ready for an old cushy office job. And just just that kind of thing. And, and Peter Cushing, uh, Peter Cushing, no, Peter Cullen, he did more of a John Wayne thing with that as well. And he had little, good little lines of advice. So, you know, there's a slight, there's a slight, um, there's a thin line between being a hero and being a memory. It was really cool, that one. No, I like that. It's just stuff like that. It was very, very good. And then, and then the, that pilot hit it off and they did it in the, the first season. And then it, it changed. The, the style, the feel of it changed. And it wasn't the same. So, for me, the pilot was, was the G1 for me. And the comics, the comics were brilliant. <clears throat> so that's why. Yeah, there was faults with the cartoon. There was faults with the thing. This was a this was a Japanese idea, uh, but somehow, wait a minute, how does it work now? It was written by Americans, um, and it was drawn by Japanese, I think, and then it was animated by a Taiwan Taiwan company, I think it was. <coughs> Those three countries were involved, so you can see the you, you know communication problems. That's why Rumble is blue in the cartoon. He you know he is black and red. No matter what you guys say, the argument, my argument, the, at the end of the day, the original toy was black and red, and because of miscommunication, he ended up being blue because they were sent black and white drawings of each character, and he said Rumble and Friends eh? black and white. They didn't say which one was which, and they got confused with which one. So, that's why he's a different colour. Um, so, yeah. That's that's why I love G1. Now to the main bits. So like I said, I'm uh, reviewing the XTX, or the X2 TX003 uh, strengthening equipment for Trail breaker and hoist. I'm also doing the repro labels um, for them and the toys themselves. So we'll start off with the original mold, which is trail breaker. And originally uh, there wasn't many paint details. Um, it had a little bit of down here. If you look on the pictures at the beginning, you'll see them. And his headlights are uh, painted as well. And that was about it, really. He's got um, the Autobot symbol. That was about it. So the repro labels basically decorated the um, mostly the car, the vehicle form. Um, so it came with new decals on the sides and across there. So it's like a metallic gold, uh, metallic yellow, orange, red. Um, it comes with a grill at the front there, um, a back bumper. 
um, and a license plate. This one says trail break, but there was the option to have trail cutter if you want. Um, rear, rear lights. And if I take this part off, let's take these off. So this is what you actually got. It came with these stickers here at the back. And then these stickers on the side and on the windscreen as well. It kind of filled it out a bit. And what we got with uh, the strengthening equipment was two parts. This part, which I swung, and this part. Okay. And all he did, like you saw a minute ago, was the fact that uh, there was two holes at the top. You just place that one in the right. This one is basically sits like that and goes in the left. Like so. And it covers that back panel. A bit, so it just covers that. So it's a waste of stickers there really, but there you go. Doesn't matter. So it looks kind of like, I don't know, it, it kind of looks like um, some kind of equipment. You know, uh, news reporters have maybe, or 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 um, scientists, you know, geolo geologists or something. They, they'd have a vehicle like this, you know. Um, yeah, cool. That's good. Does, does it for me. Hoist. Um, this guy came with pretty much the same decals um, as Trail uh, Breaker. He didn't have much. Um, what he did have was again the symbol. Uh, the paint was uh, the headlights were painted, and that was it. Pretty much, there wasn't much to it. So the repro labels came with decals that came along the sides. Again, on the back there, bumper. Um, on the back, you've got a choice of hoist or moist. And moist is anyone who knows me personally, close to me, knows that that's my favourite word. That's my second favourite word. My first one is fallacio. And you see how they can't count together. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the colours. Oh, and by the way, on the actual projectors, the stick is there to chrome it up. Oh, which I thought was really cool. Um, on the strengthening equipment, you came with two things again. You came with this gun and this mount. And you just basically... Just mount that in the back. Because it goes as easy as pie. There you go. There we go. And it just sits over that again. So again, that's hidden as well. Okay. And there's two holes. So you got top left, bottom right. Top left is the crane. Bottom right is the gun. Like so. Speaking of stickers, uh, the strengthening equipment came with stickers as well. And I didn't use them except for one thing. Uh, the crane itself on the original toy, the paint decals were very... It was just yellow paint on black and it just didn't work, it didn't pop. So it had the warning yellow and black stickers that goes on the side here, but they were nowhere near as good as the repro labels. So I cut them down to shape and just fitted them on and then put the repro label circles see that on the uh, on top of them so it just gives it that look you know um, and I'm happy, I'm happy with it that'll do it's not, it's not perfect but better than what it was um, also these came with the uh, window uh, stickers as well those on the front there so very different to that um, it's, it's good how they've done it I personally I prefer the green uh, the hoist colors um, the toy itself, it looks, it just pops more, you know, because you got the black, and it was just all black, and then this. So, um, oh, the only other difference was, these had, you see the rims here, and in the center of the wheel as well, they had stickers. So did these, um, but I didn't put them on, I'll go over to why in a bit. But, let's talk about transformation. Well, first of all, all I'm going to do is take this back panel off. Just leave that off. 
we're going to split the legs or split the back part and just pull and it kind of just folds out and folds back in like that. Put the feet down and then these arms, these wheels, these are actual wheels, these are real wheels, they're all spin well. These ones are like half fake. So the inside part of the wheels don't actually turn, it's part of the arm, it's just the outside bits that turn. What you do is you just grab them and push them out and that pushes the arms. And then what you need to do is the, it's attached to the, ball, the arms on a ball joint which is on an arm. That arm needs to turn. Now on trail breaker, on my trail breaker, it's it's good, it's easy enough to do. Uh, but for hoist, it's a little bit stiff. So uh, I'm, looking, I'm being very careful with that one. And what we do, there's a little notch on each on each one, and it fits into the mirrors, the wing mirrors of the car. So that's done. And all we do is we push the Autobot symbol and hold that. There you go, like that. Okay. And under that is a tab, and then the stomach there is a port. We just plug that in there. Okay. Then we we bring the whole this back part, the windows, back and up, and then we swing the rest of the body once the wheels are out of the way properly in. It just sits there. We then grab the head, which is above. Let's move that. Turn it round, and there you go. Pretty much, you fold the door, the side panels in, fist out, and twist the arms, and that is how you transform this mold. Okay. And it comes with uh, oh, articulation. In the arms and pretty good articulation as well, you know. Um, in the elbows, a swivel and the upper arm. His head rotates. Um, come on, you. Don't be, don't be at it. There we go. Um, he has a waist swivel, a ball joint in the hip, rotates in the upper thigh and the knee joint, and obviously the toe thing because of transformation. The wrists are pretty much it. They can bend slightly, you know, because of transformation. And that is it. That's your lot. That's your, and that's all you need for this size. The we'll one size later on. Uh, I'm going to take these parts off and just show you this bit. You've all seen this anyway, but basically it's got a panel underneath. You open that up. It's got a red handle there, and you pull it out. And what pe people tended to do, no one's shown it yet, is you just put that on the fist and that's it. That's how you do it. That, that's how everyone's been showing you. But that's not the case. That's not how you do it. Okay. What you do is, you say you pull this one in, put this fist in, there's a hole in the side of the forearm. You just punch it in there, like that. And that's how you do it. Or, instructions don't tell you this either. I just kept thinking over it, like that's surely that's not the way it's done. You do it the other way, you put it on the other side. And that's how you do it. What people have tended to do is just fold that all back up again, pull the projector down, and there's a hole on the top of the projector, and you just there's a peg right under here. You just peg it in there, and that's what people tend to do. And I think in the photo. On the intro of this, it's got it's got it's got it like that. Okay, so that's how we do it. On the stickers, um, there's some new ones on the bot mode. Uh, you got thighs, um, upper arms, forearms, uh, and that is it. Oh, there's another set of stickers there, uh, blue ones there. Uh, that is it. But you know what? It makes it look a lot, a lot better. It pops a bit more. And the additional parts, what we have, we have these two parts. Now this part is very simple, as you can guess. It's the main gun for him. All we do is that. Pull his fist in. There you go. 
That's this part. This, uh, the next part can be used as a gun. So you can put it in the other hand if you want. It's, it's really cool, this. They could have just put a little block on and... Oh, but what they've done, they made a little gun, so you've got a choice. Okay, so you can do it like that and have it set up like that. Or, what its main reason, what its main function is, you take this part off and you put and you you straighten up your the projector. Behind on the back is a hole. And all you do is you just place it whichever way you want to do it. I think it's this way, actually. Yeah, it's this way. It's set up so it, the gun points down. It comes with its own hole. So it's it's basically extended the hole, so you can actually fit this in now without using the projector. So it fits in like that. A lot better. So much better. So there you go. That's my trail trail breaker. Um, I do like him. Very nice. On to hoist. As you'd imagine. Transformation is exactly the same as trail break. Um, I'm just showing you the actual decals. Articulation, exactly the same. It's the same mold, so, you know, easy way. What you see is what you get. Um, again, pink de um, stickers on forearms, upper arms. Uh, there's two sets. Same colours, blue or, as the trail breaker on that bit there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, stickers here look different. Uh, we have the thighs again. This time they've got some on the knee pads as well, the orange knee pads, which is kind of cool. I do like that. Um, and that's the difference. And he does pop a lot more, I think, it's because he's not black. Like I'm saying. Um, what you're supposed to do with the crane is you obviously take it off of the back, fold the hook in, and fold it over again. And just and it's it's supposed to be a gun. Yeah, okay, because that's what hoist is all about. Anyway, moving on. That's a give him something, didn't they? Um, what you do with the other bit, um, I haven't taken it off. It doesn't come off. Oh, it does come off, but you can keep it on while you transform it. What you do now is this part here fold down. And then if I just tilt the projector forward out of the way, there's an arm. If you just look, see that like type of T. Junction type thing. I don't know what you call it. It's that, that that folds out and it swings all the way around. What you need to do is just fill about with these a bit. Do that. Fold it all the way around. And there you go. That's transformed. That's all done. With the gun. Okay. We open the side panel, which is under the forearm. We fold the fist in and we place that at the peg into the fist and close close it back up and there you go project right and that is it it looks really cool I do like him right so my thoughts oh this part I just put back in the part there we'll go over the stuff that I don't like about these first of all the toy itself um I think everything's pretty good. Like I say, my hoist, uh, the, the the actual part that joins the body to the arm, it's stiff, which is where it's attached to the actual wheel. It's really stiff, so I need to be really careful with that. And if you do have it, don't use the arms because that peg, that, that ball joint could snap off. Um, but that's just mine. It might not be with yours. Uh, the other part is they're not big enough. It's and it sounds like a broken record because we seem to be saying that, but they should have been not the fact that the deluxe is too small. It's the fact that it's a deluxe. It should have been a Voyager. Um, they 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 they're big boys, you know. They need to be big toys. So that's my thought. That's the only letdown. I mean, pay decals. Yeah, it would be nice, but if it's to save money, then so be it. I can get the repro labels so well. Um, that's the toy. The extras, the gun on hoist, well, the peg was too big, so I had to shave a bit off. It would not fit on this part. It would not fit on the fist. So I had to shave off with a blade. Be careful if you do that. Um, but incidentally, because I've done that, it's a little bit loose on it because it fit perfectly before on this. It was a little bit tight, but I shaved it off. This fits perfectly on the fist. 
It's a little bit loose on here now. Um, this doesn't fit that that much. I'm gonna have to put some polish on there or something, just to tighten that hole up so I can it'll fit better. Um, but apart from that, that's fine. The plastic's good. The plastic's uh, decent enough. It'll do. For hoist and uh, for trail breaker, um, the parts are fine. There's nothing wrong with these parts. I I like them. Um, they they all fit properly. And the last bit is the stickers. On these have got rims. Those don't. Even though it's got paint, it, uh, it's the 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 hot rims have been. The wheels have actually been painted anyway. Uh, the problem I had with the stickers was they weren't cut deep enough. So I had to do some cutting myself, and it was a nightmare. So so much the fact that I didn't use those paint, uh, those stickers, because they were just chopped to pieces. So that's that's my review on those three things, which is thirtieth uh, thrilling thirtieth anniversary of trail cutter and hoist, and the X two T double zero. Three strengthening equipment and the uh, repo labels. I said toys. Um, I hope you found it. I hope you found it um, enlightening, educating. Hope it's helped you make your mind up whether you want to buy the toys or not, or whether you want to buy the other other stuff. Um, if you if you're woman and iron whether about the, the, the stickers, they are good. They're worth getting if you want you. Your bots to look good, then yeah. Um, repro labels are really good anyway. I would say get them together, um, get something else so you can get the the free stickers to go with it. Always and um, yeah, and that's it. But what else were I going about? Uh, well, that's it. So thanks for uh, watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And each other. Be good. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.